Hi, I'm Jeff Byers. I'm going to take you through how to create terrain in UDK. Um, we're going to go ahead and get started with a night scene. Let's go to File and New s new Level and click on Night Lighting. I'm not too worried about uh, what's happening as far as it being kind of bright. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and create uh, terrain and I'll show you how to manipulate and, uh, and change the attributes for that. Click on the floor and let's get rid of that. And click on the cube, the inside of the cube, and get rid of that. We want to keep our builder brush. A um, couple things we need to do um, is we're going to go ahead and uh, change the kill zone to be lower. So we're going to go to view and world properties. And under um, zone info, we're going to go ahead and next to kill Z, we're going to go. Uh, negative 1000. We also can change the kill Z damage type to none, but we do want to have um, a kill zone, but we just don't want it getting in the way. So we're going to do a negative 1000 and um, that'll move it down far enough to where it won't be a problem. The other thing we want to do right away is the world info, or excuse me, the um, game type, and we want to make sure that's set up to deathmatch. UT deathmatch. Okay, rest the uh, rest of it's pretty good. Go ahead and close that, and then we're going to go ahead and create the uh, terrain. So let's go to um, let's go to uh, tools and click on new terrain and the patches are we'll start with uh, 60 by 60 and you can go higher if you want to we'll start with that okay and the terrain will have a little symbol that looks like mountains so what we want to do is we want to place the terrain in the middle of the scene. So let's go ahead and do a couple things. Let's go ahead and move the light. And notice that it's kind of um, in uh, axes in a, in a weird direction. Let's go to world up at the top here. And move that up out of the way. And let's go to the uh, top view. And as you can see, if I click on it, that there is our terrain. Let's go ahead and move that kind of in the center and you can just kind of eyeball it. Doesn't have to be perfect. Let's get it in the center if you can. Okay, that's close enough. Alright, so let's go ahead and and look at the other views. You can see here's our little box and our kill zones at the very, very bottom here. If you choose to keep the kill zone up here, that's fine. That kind of gives you a level. But it, um, the thing is, if you do um, manipulate the terrain, it will cause some problems. So um, once we get all this set up, you don't want to do this again. I'm going to go ahead and turn the camera movement speed up all the way. And I'm going to go ahead and rotate a little bit. Um, we're at a point where I probably want to um, save my scene. Okay, so just your first name and uh, zero 01. Alright, and what we're going to do is we're going to click on the terrain editing mode. Okay, in the train editing mode, we have our brushes. We've got our paintbrush, which we're going to use, and we have the types of brushes we can actually click. Okay, bef before we get started, we're going to go ahead and I'm um, going to turn on wireframe. Okay, now notice the resolution of the wireframe is very, very low. So, um, what we're going to do is we're going to turn that up a little bit because if now if I go ahead and, and hold down my control key and I start painting 
you'll notice that it's very choppy and uh, not very smooth. So I'm going to do a control Z. Um, and um, I'm going to go ahead and um, hold down the control key. When you hold down the control key and you uh, paint, so control and your left mouse button will pull up and control on your right mouse button will push down. And control Z will undo. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to turn the resolution up a little bit higher. So under tessellation we're going to click on increase. And it will tell you, are you sure you want to do this? Yes. So click yes. And we're going to click on it again. And click yes. So you can see that now it's starting to get a little finer detail, which is what we want for this scene. Now again, you have to be careful by not doing too much. Okay, as you can see, it's, it's, it's a lot nicer. So, um, so we've done, we just about, I think we did it about uh, two times. Go ahead and do one more. Increase, and it's going to say yes. Click yes. And that's about as far as we want to go. Now you can see the camera has having a real problem um, seeing all those little teeny squares. It's basically having a hard time redrawing that. So let's turn that wire, let's turn the toggle wireframe off. Okay. And as you can see, I'm going to move around in my scene. And I can hold down the control key and pull up these bumps. Now I'm going to click on sh shading um, lit. Now I was on unlit. I'm going to click on lit. That gives me, it lets me see my, how I'm actually um, painting and my brush size that I'm using is uh, 100 strength you can turn that down a little bit if you want to radius of 128 and my fall off at 348 gives me a nice smooth um, look to the mountains so I'm going to create mountains um, natural uh, barrier so my character can't get through so I'll just do a little painting right in through here and notice I'm getting you know I don't have a problem getting you know kind of um, a high uh, mountain range in the, in the background here because I, I don't want the players to get out of there so as you can see, I'm just building that up. And I'm just going to continue building that up a little bit. And I'm just doing a very quick, quick job. Uh, it's nothing perfect, nothing special. And I'm keeping the rest of it pretty flat. I might have some rolling hills here and there. I don't want it to be too hard um, to work with. If you have insane um, topology on this thing, you're going to have a real hard time uh, getting the buildings to stay on there correctly. Okay. So some of the tools that you can use that are pretty exciting um, in this is um, after you get your mountains and all that taken care of, is that you can uh, go in there and um, add some rocks and materials and all that stuff to make it look a little bit more interesting to look at. 
Another reason why I do the mountains the way I do is because it breaks the horizon up, makes it a little bit nicer to look at. Now remember in the exercise sheet that I want you guys to create a um, a um, river. Okay, so I get this mountain range going on here. One of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the radius up just a little bit. I turn the strength down quite a bit and um, get some um, just some real light you know some changes in the um, just a little bit kind of like flatlands here okay there we go And I'm just messing around with this, you know. Um, you may do this a couple times before you get it exactly the way you want it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, close this out for now. And I'm going to um, put it on on the uh, detail lighting. And we've got lighting only. Let's just do lit. And I'm going to go ahead and um, uh, build all. And this may take a while. If you have a fast computer, it'll go quickly. Depending on how long this takes, I may or may not chop this out. All these warnings are okay. They're fine. Just close it out. And um, let's go ahead and uh, do in-game mode so we don't see everything. And we're going to go ahead and right-click over this go to play from here. Okay, there we go. So now you can see I'm kind of Got some hills and stuff. Looks like I killed myself. So let's look at the side view. And it looks like I've. Oh, my. <laughs> my whole train is off kilter. <laughs> That's why I went into the uh, kill zone. That was crazy. Okay. Anyway, let's do. Uh, Turn that off and do it again. Play from here. There we go. So now we're gonna. So you just kind of play your terrain a little bit. Get the scale how you want it. And at this point, I'm not gonna take time to add buildings and stuff, but um, I want you to add your buildings in here as BSPs um, as a white box to kind of get the scale and see how things are. How things are working. This is just an example. Okay, let's go ahead and escape. Um, so you can see, um, of course, this is kind of a small uh, level here. Um, so you may want to go 120 by 120, and you're going to do this a couple times before you feel comfortable. But this is just an, again as an example. Um, I'm going to do my brush here real quick and do a, f a fairly large building here. Um, let me do a thousand by a thousand and this will be um, 512 and I'll make that hollow build it out add and let's go to the top view and let's do a uh, a home. Hit the home key. There we go. Hit the home key over this little. You can see that I'm kind of off my train here, so I'm gonna move that up. I should move that blue one up too and rebuild 
just build geometry. There we go. That'll go really quickly. And um, go ahead and take the. Uh, My PSP out of the way here. Here we go. Alright, so probably need to cut some doorways in there, see how big it is, but I'm not gonna take the time to do that. Okay, so you'll have your buildings all over the place, um, however you wanna set them up. And you wanna go in here and just play from here and just make sure um, see how the building sizes look, if they're too big, too small. Okay, that's a pretty tall building. And see how the level plays. How long does it take you to get from one place to another? Alright, stuff like that. You just gotta get scale done first before you start adding any textures and all that stuff. Alright, cool. And we'll come back. In the next video, we'll talk, take you through how to add materials and pathways.